today's problem from ordinary differential equation and the problem is linear ordinary differential equation with constant coefficient but it is non homogeneous since right hand side is non zero okay so we know that general solution of this type of equation have two part the first part is complementary function this is yc and the second part is particular integral this is yt okay now to find out the complementary function that is yc we first put here y equal to here we put y this is equal to c into e to the power mx right then we get the auxiliary equation auxiliary equation is which is given by m to the power 4 minus 1 this is 0 right and by factorizing it we get this is m, m square minus 1 into m square plus 1 this is 0 so 4 values of m are this is plus minus 1 and this is plus minus i okay so we get the complementary function this is yc which is given by a e to the power x plus b e to the power minus x plus c cos x plus d sin x okay this is the complementary function of this equation this is the first part of the problem and we use this relation to write the general solution okay now we have to find out the particular integral what is particular integral particular integral we know that particular integral of a differential equation this is 1 by f of d into x this is the particular integration or particular integral okay and in case pi this is given by 1 by d to the power 4 minus 1 into x sin x okay because here f of d this is 1 by d square minus 1 and x is x sin x and for this type of function we let let this is q this is 1 by d to the power 4 minus 1 into x sin x and p and p this is 1 by d to the power 4 minus 1 into x cos x okay and we get a new relation from p and q this is p plus i q this is given by 1 by d to the power 4 minus 1 and this is x into cos x plus i sin x so we get 1 by d to the power 4 minus 1 this is d square minus 1 into d square plus 1 and this is given by x into e to the power i x okay because we know that e to the power i theta this is cos theta plus i sin theta this is Euler form of complex number now we use the short method or short rule to find the particular integral of this type of function the rule is 1 by f of d into e to the power ax into v of x v of x is any function of x here we get same type of function here here v of x is x and e to the power ax is e to the power ix so our rule is e to the power ax in the left side we also here write e to the power ix and this is this is f of d plus a so a is i so we get d plus i whole square minus 1 and another function is d plus i whole square plus 1 and this is x right now we get e to the power ix and this is d square plus 2id minus minus 1 minus 1 because i square is minus 1 so this is minus 2 and from here we get similarly d square plus 2id this is this is minus 1 this is plus 1 so cancel out this is x okay 
Now we write these two expressions as e to the power i x into we first take common minus 2 from here and write that 1 minus 2 i d plus d square by 2. This is this term can be written in this form and from here we take common 2 i d and this is 1 by 1 by 1 plus d by 2i into x. Okay. Now we operate 1 by 1 term on x and we write here this is given by p plus i q. This is equal to e to the power ix into 1 by we write this is minus 2 and this is 2i. So we write this is by 4i. Okay. And this term is given by 1 minus 2id plus d square by 2 to the power minus 1. And here we get 1 by d. We write 1 by d in the left side of this 1 by d. And this is given by 1 plus d by 2i to the power minus 1 into x. Right. So we get minus e to the power ix by 4id into 1 by d. So if we write here 1 by d, 1 minus 2id plus d square by 2 into 1 minus d by 2i plus d by 2i whole square and this is an infinite series and so on into x. Okay. Because this is 1 plus x whole to the power minus 1. So this is 1 minus x plus x square minus x square and so on. Right. Now this is minus e to the power ix by 4i into 1 by d and 1 minus 2id plus d square by 2 to the power minus 1. This is minus 1. And we operate x on this. This is x minus x by 2y. Sorry, this is 1 by 2y. Because 1 into x, this is x. And dx, this is 1 by 2y. And from here, this is 0. So we cannot write or we will not write here another term. Because all are 0 remaining this term. Right. Now we get minus e to the power ix by 4i 1 by d and if we if we expand this expansion this is 1 minus 2 id plus d square by 2 this is plus plus and so on this is x minus 1 by 2i right because the expansion of 1 minus x whole to the power minus 1 is given by 1 plus x plus x square and so on now operating here we get minus e to the power ix by 4i 1 by d into this is x minus 1 by 2i for 1 we multiply 1 into this and when we operate 2id plus d square by 2 on this we get the result as for x we get here 2i by 2 and for d square this is 0 and for both the term, when we operate 1 by 2y, this is 0. Okay. So, we get the result is this. Now, again, we operate d, 1 by d here. 1 by d operation, this means here a integration occur. So, we get minus e to the power ix by 4i into x square by 2 minus x by 2y plus ix. Now, if we multiply both sides of this term, numerator and denominator by i, then we get the result i and this is i square. This means minus 1. So, we write here this is minus 1 means plus. Okay. Now, we again write this is e to the power ix by 4, 4 and we multiply i in the inner side. And getting the result as this x square by 2y 
and this term is given by this is 3xi by 2 right 3xi by 2 and i and i both cancel out so this is 3x by 2 okay now we put the value of e to the power i x and taking common 2 from here we get the result this is 1 by 8 this is cos x plus i sin x and we write this term as this is 3x we write in the first because this is positive and if we multiply again by i and in the lower side i then this i square this is minus 1 so we put this is minus 1 okay so we get this is 3x minus i x square and clearly this is p plus i q p plus i q okay and we have to find out the value of the value of this that is the value of q here okay value of q is our particular integral so we have to find out the coefficient of imaginary part okay or imaginary part from both sides so we get the value of q this is given by we get imaginary part in two two term the first term is minus 1 by 8 we write in the outside the first term is this this into this so minus x square cos x and another term is plus 3x sin x this is also imaginary part okay and by multiplying with minus we get 1 by 8 into 3x sin x 3x sin x this is sorry this is by multiplication we get x square cos x minus 3x sin x this is q or this is our particular integral okay this is very important part of the differential equation so we get the particular integral here and this is this is our complementary function here we write complementary function and we note that this is yp so we get the general solution general solution is is y this is equal to yc plus yp we already write here and by putting the value of yc this is a e to the power x plus b e to the power minus x plus c cos x plus d sin x this is yc and yp is this this is 1 by 8 so plus 1 by 8 into x square cos x x square cos x minus 3 sin x okay so this is the final answer or this is the general solution of this problem very very interesting and important problem of linear differential equation which is non-homogeneous and with constant coefficient right thank you thank you for watching